my name is Deborah. I'm the genealogy librarian here with the library. I work upstairs in the genealogy and local history department. Today I'm going to talk about a book. It's called The Stranger in My Genes by Bill Griffith. This is based on a true story. Being a genealogist, one of the most recent tools that come in handy for a lot of genealogists is actually DNA. And this is about this is a story about Bill Griffith, who has actually discovered DNA and discovered a long-known secret based on DNA. As you well know, um, a lot of times family histories, family, they just have a lot of uh, dark secrets that are hidden. And once you take a DNA test, anything can happen. And so Bill actually discovers with his DNA test that his father is not his father. He had spent many years um, actually researching his family and only to find out that he had researched a whole, a whole different line that wasn't even related to him. Um, he had actually taken a DNA test back in 2000. Uh, this book was actually published just in 2016. And it actually talks about his journey, just trying to come to grips with understanding that his father is not his father. His elderly mom is still living at this time, and so she's actually, he's actually um, debating with himself how much he should push his mom to try to find out what the secret would be that's been handed down through the family, and why he's actually, why the father is not who the father he thought he was. And so it's a really good book, just talking about the struggles with dealing with the idea that you find something different in your family that you're not used to researching, and just talking about how he has had to come to terms in terms of how much does he ask his mom, and when does he um, call it quits in terms where he doesn't want to push anything further based on this secret that's been kept in the dark for many, many years. <laughs> Once again, this is The Stranger in My Genes by Bill Griffith based on a true story, talking about um, a gentleman's discovery about DNA and how uh, through the DNA his father is not his father and how he tries to go through and understand how to deal with that and how to get questions answered from his mom. Deb. So, Deb, why did Bell, Bill, Bill Griffith use, like, why did he decide to use DNA to connect to um, ancestry, and, like, how did he come about that science and process? Actually, he had been interested in genealogy for many years, and one of his relatives, Doug, got him a DNA test. Um, Bill Griffith had not even thought about um, taking a DNA at this point. Remember, this is fairly new. I mean, the DNA that he did, he finally took one in 2012, and he didn't believe the results, so he actually took a second one. Oh, and wow. both results came back definitely that his father was not his father. Oh, and gosh. so it was really interesting, but it was Doug, one of his relatives, is the one that actually got him first interested in taking the DNA test. Then also about 2012 is probably about the time period that the DNA was just starting to come forward with genealogy, becoming a new tool for genealogists, and it's just exploded since then. I mean, almost everyone now is wanting to do DNA testing through Ancestry, MyHeritage, 23andMe, um, as well as Family Tree DNA. Those are the big main four players right now. And genealogists from all over have been using DNA results to resolve mysteries. Um, they have a long time secret in their family that they're just wanting to know if it's true or not. Um, they're using that for adoptions. They use DNA just, um, just because they're curious of the ethnicity. And in this case, I mean, he never dreamed that he was going to discover that the DNA results was going to show that his father was not his father. I mean, he always thought it was something strange because he was the youngest of five kids, and, but his older sister was all, already having kids before he was born. <laughs> so it was just, you know, he always thought he was a special case, but he didn't know how special he was until Doug convinced him to do the DNA test. And like I said, he had to do it like two or three times because he didn't believe the results of science. Because it just couldn't be, because his mom was so proper, there was just no way that she would ever do a mishap. <laughs> but you have to read the story to find out what's going on with that. Okay. 